In this video, we solve problem 10.1.5 from Essentials of Statistics, sixth edition by Mario Triola. The problem statement says 54 wild bears were anesthetized and their weights and chest sizes were measured and listed in a data set. Results are shown in the accompanying display and that display, um, the results are shown right here. It says, is, the, um, is there sufficient evidence to support the claim? Um, that there is a linear correlation between the weights of bears and their chest sizes. I should say, is there? There we go. When measuring an anesthetized bear, is it easier to measure chest size than weight? If so, does it appear that a measured chest size can be used to predict the weight? Use a significance level of alpha equals 0 0.05. So we've got our correlation coefficient r. We've got a critical value of R, actually two of them. And then we have the P value for a two-tailed test of 0, 0.000. So first we're asked to determine the null and alternative hypotheses. And they automatically have these um, variables row here. Remember what row is. That's the linear correlation coefficient for the population of paired data. R is the linear correlation coefficient for our sample. Now the null hypothesis, whenever we're doing, whenever we're testing um, for correlation is always that that linear correlation coefficient in, for the population of paired data is equal to zero. So we're saying there's absolutely no correlation. And the alternative hypothesis is that the um, linear correlation coefficient for the population is non-zero. So that's the first part of this question. The next thing that we're asked to do is identify the correlation coefficient r. And we're asked to round to three decimal places. So if this is the output on your calculator or on StatCrunch or um, on some software that you're using, they're really just asking us to read this table and then round to three decimal places. So our correlation coefficient is 0 0.956. I know this is a really easy question, but I want to make sure that you know how to interpret um, the results in that box. Next, we're asked to identify the critical value or values. Now, every time you are testing for correlation, you always have two critical values. And they want us to round to three decimal places again. And we'll say that there are two critical values and they are plus and minus 0 0.268 when we round to three decimal places. Then the next thing we're asked is if, or is there sufficient evidence to support the claim that there is a linear correlation between the weights of bears and their test sizes? Choose the correct answer below, and if necessary, fill in the answer box within your choice. We're also asked to round to three decimal places. So if we're trying to decide if there's sufficient evidence to support the claim, we just have to compare the absolute value of our um, correlation coefficient r to the absolute value of those critical values. Well, that 0 0.956 is definitely greater than the critical values. Um, so that means that the, the absolute value of that test statistic, um, since it's greater than the critical values, it's like farther out in the tails. Um, that means it's an extreme value. So in that case, we would reject the null hypothesis, which means that we're saying that there is evidence of a correlation. Um, so we're going to say, is there sufficient evidence to support the claim? Yes because the test statistic, um, which was 0 0.956, um, exceeds the critical value. And of course, we're always looking at absolute value there. And then the last part says, or I guess it's not the last part, it says, when measuring an anesthetized bear, is it easier to measure chest size than weight? If so, does it appear that measured, a measured chest size can be used to predict the weight? So yes, it is easier to measure the chest size uh, of a, an anesthetized bear than, than its weight. 
Um, because if you were trying to weigh a bear and it was anesthetized, you anesthetize, it's very hard for me to say, um, you would have to lift the bear onto a scale. Um, so I would rather measure it than try to put a bear on a scale. So yes. Um, and it says, if so, does it appear that a measured chest size can be used to predict the weight? And it appears that it can be because chest size and the weight are correlated with each other. So it's either a B, C, or D. Um, these three all say yes, it would be easier to measure chest size. And then it says in B, chest size, chest size could not be used to predict weight. Okay, that's, that's not what we want. Um, C says the chest size could not be used to predict weight. Okay, D is the one that we want, I think. The chest size could be used to predict weight because there is a linear correlation between the two. That's it. It's pretty simple. All you have to do is use the values in that table and interpret them correctly and you can answer these questions.